Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we got the top competitive Pokemon for Pokemon MMO. Um, we're pretty much just going to run through the list of the OU uh, single battle teams. So uh, let's let's get started. Um, so right here we have uh, overused Pokemon. We got Garchomp. Uh, usage 37%, 37.67%. So here I'm going to... I got a showdown right here on the right to kind of help you guys build these because uh, uh, this right here doesn't really sh it just shows the the usage of these Pokemon and it doesn't really show the abilities but uh, I got some stuff for you guys so yeah uh, let's get into it so right here we got this Garchomp um, let's see let's just get let's get rid of these guys um, so right here first we got our Garchomp OU Garchomp, um, top item, life orb, so let's just put the life orb in here, um, top ability, rough skin, so we got rough skin right here, it says Pokemon making contact with this, lose an eighth of their max HP, okay, awesome, good stuff, and then um, there's, there's different builds that you would want to go with this, like different abilities, but I'll just give you my, my take on it, and uh, Let's see what we got. Um, yes. Garchomp. I'm looking for Garchomp over here. Huh, that's weird. It's not showing up. Um, we got the Draco Meteor. Uh, but right here, it's uh, naive. So they're going naive. So they got uh, speed and special defense. Okay, so we got naive for the nature, naive, a speed, special defense. So we're going to go speed, and then uh, Garchomp is a, a regular, a physical attacker. So we're going to go um, <clears throat> max attack IVs. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull this up right here. Um... But it's not showing up for some reason. It's kind of... I don't know why it's doing this right now of all times. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, here, let me see if I can find it for you guys real quick. Um, the battle challenges. Huh. I just had it up. Uh, let's go sword and shield. We got looking for guard chomp right now. Sorry, guys. Um, Garchomp. I just seen him. Where'd he go? Okay, here we go. Got him. So, um, there's, I got multiple builds for you guys. You could either go Swords Dance, uh, Swords Dance build. It's, uh, we got, uh, the item for Sword Dance build is we got leftovers. And then for the, uh, ability, we got Rough Skin, we got Jolly Nature. And this is, keep in mind, these are just Pokemon in Pokemon MMO. This is not Scarlet and Violet, but I'm sure these Pokemon work just as good. If not, maybe they might work better. Who knows? Uh, build them on your Scarlet and Violet and try them out. I mean, I know I will. Um, so right here for the EVs, like I had put, we got the 250 attack and then the 252 speed. And then uh, we're going to put, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, we're just going to put the rest on special defense. Some spadef. That's what they call it, some spadef. Uh, for the abilities, we got a uh, Swords Dance. And then we got uh, Earthquake, Fire Fang. Earthquake, Fire Fang. And for the last and final moves, I don't even know if they have this in... Uh, 
No scale shot, huh? Well, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, they got scale shot. So, um, let's see what we got. Let's just go with maybe some toxic. And uh, after this video, I'm going to have another video up of me actually running this team through to see how strong they are and see how well it does. So, uh, yeah, keep in touch. Uh, so the next guy we got on the list, um, let's see what we got here. We have Scissor. I see this Pokemon a lot, like a lot. I see him a lot. Um, he's got a Bug Steel. His uh, top ability, Technician. Not surprised. Uh, for those who don't know, Technician, the Pokemon's moves of 60 power or less have 1.5 power, including Struggle. There you go. For the item, they got the Choice Band. We got Leftovers on the Garchomp. Uh, we got Choice Band on the Scissor. Um... Right here in Pokemon MMO, the top nature is uh, Adamant. So Adamant, we got plus attack, negative special attack. Okay. And um, for for the secondary items, like, I mean, the, I mean, choice ban is used 56% of the time. And we got Life Orb and Leftovers next here. Um, for the move set, let me see. I got this right here. Find it for you guys real quick. Um, there we go. So we got the we got the roost. Uh, let's see, roost. We got roost. We got knockoff. Knockoff's good because when you're playing uh, PvP online, you, you you know any good players got an item on them, and the move does more damage with um, when they have an item. So then we got U-turn, and obviously the bullet punch. This move is deadly. Damn bullet punch. And then for the item, I mean, we can go Choice Ban or we can go um, maybe Heavy Duty Boots. I don't know if they have Heavy Duty Boots in uh, Poke MMO. Let's, let's find out real quick. I haven't even looked. Um, It doesn't look like it. Oh, right here, item listings. Yeah, I don't even think they have heavy duty boots in here. No, they sure don't. So yeah, we're just gonna rock. We're gonna rock the choice band, and the same ability technician, and for the for the IVs. No, sorry, the EVs. Uh, we're gonna have. I know some might disagree with this, but we got the HP, and then we got the 140 speed, and then we got some defense. I mean, you could take some of this defense off and then put some attack, or I mean, if you really want to, just you know, instead of putting it in the HP, you know, you could put it in attack. But that's the whole point of why we have this roost. If so um, we could take some shots, so that's why you know even you know if you even if you just want a little bit of attack and then just put the rest in the, the HP. I mean, if you want to go full attack, then I prob probably wouldn't go roost. Um, maybe like a swords dance. It's up to you though, whichever you prefer. What else other moves do we got here? I mean, you could put some flying moves on them. Those are pretty good when it comes to fighting uh, grass types and stuff. Uh, okay, well, yeah, let's move on. Okay. Uh, next up on the lineup, we have the one and only Dragonite. He's on 
everybody's team. Anybody any good? No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see what we got here for you. I wish there was a better way for me to search this. Um, even on Scarlet and Violet, I think Dragonite's ranked. Um, I think it's like I think he's one. I'm pretty sure he's one on the list for like some of the best overused Pokemon. Um, but yeah, here we go. So we got a. We could either do a bulky Dragonite or uh, offensive Dragonite. And from what it looks like, these guys right here are using um, leftovers. So we're gonna put leftovers. And Dragonite. I always like the multi scale. And for this team, I think we're gonna go um, offensive because that's how I like to play Dragonite. I like to play him offensive, so we'll just go Dragon Dance. You gotta have Dragon Dance on the Dragon. Um, earthquake. This is like typical cookie cutter Dragonite. Everybody has the same stuff. So with this third move, uh, let's just put this one in here. We got Roost. Roost is a great move. Especially when you got this multi-scale, you could Roost to full health, and then you'll take half damage. Okay? Because that's what this multi-scale does here. If, I didn't, if you guys don't know what multi-scale is, uh, if this Pokemon is at full HP, damage taken from attacks is halved. So Roost helps a lot, especially Leftovers too. Leftovers will uh, replenish some health. Um, so let's go for this last move. I mean, there's other, there's all types of moves we can use. Um, maybe dual wing beat. Let's see what we got here. Um, well, it's looking like it's illegal for this. Um, or we got the ice punch. We got ice punch. Uh, we could do superpower. Um, or, uh, ice beam. So, but for the offensive build, we're going to go with all attack and all speed. So, for the EVs, attack, speed, and then, uh, why not just put it in where we're weak. Actually, we'll just go put the rest, the four EVs on health. It's not too serious, but, um, and for the nature, here they have adamant. So, let's go adamant, attack, negative special attack. Look at a whopping 400 attack. That's crazy, y'all. Um, all right, uh, uh, yeah, let's move on. So we got our EVs, we got our abilities, we got our scissor, guard chomp, dragonite, and let's move on. So what we got next is Rotom Wash. This guy always seems to uh, be in everybody's lineup as well. We got Rotom Wash. Uh, so for this, I mean, everybody likes to use leftovers. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad it's bad to use, but I mean, when you're playing online, I feel like you can only use one of this. Um, you can't use a, a two of the same item, so you got to find different items for these people. We got Rotom Wash. Obviously, their ability is Levitate. They got a, a special defense and special attack above 100. And we're probably, we'll probably use this guy. I mean, it depends on how you want to use him. I mean, you can use him pivot. You can put a choice scarf on him. You know what? Let's just put the choice scarf on him because we haven't had a, a build with the choice scarf yet. But right here, you see um, he has a choice scarf. So for those who don't know what choice, uh, choice Scarf is, right here it increases your speed when in battle but only allows you to use the first move selected. So once you use the move you won't be able to use it again unless you switch out. So that's up to you how you want to do things. Or they got the choice specs which only 3% of people use. So let's kind of just stick to the higher ones. So I'm going to go the Choice Scarf. Um, 
And for the nature, we got bold nature. Uh, plus defense, negative attack. Okay, okay. And uh, we got uh, full HP EVs and full speed EVs. So we got HP EVs and then we got our speed EVs. And then the remaining, uh, the remaining we'll just put into uh, special defense. Just a little extra for. And then for the abilities. For the abilities, we got, we're going to go Volt Switch. This switches out Pokemon. A uh, little damage, damage dealing move. We got a Hydro Pump. And then we got a Pain Split. It says, uh, shares HP of user and target equally. And then we got Trick. says user switches its held item with the targets so you give your opponent the choice scarf and he may be stuck using that same move and he'll have to switch out and it'll just give you extra uh, turns to buff up Pokemon Swords Dance uh, Dragon Dance you know whichever you prefer okay um, there we go that's what we got so we got the bold nature we got our EVs, we got our abilities, our item. We got leftovers, him, choice band, leftovers. Okay, let's move on. Now we got, we got Starmie and Tyranitar. Let's, uh, I see a lot of people using the Gly score. Breloom, Breloom is a monster. Um,. See, I have four right now, so I have two more that I could choose from. But we'll just do the top. Okay, so we'll just do the Starmie and the Tyranitar. So let's go Starmie. Um, again, leftovers, life orb. Let's just put the life orb on them. Where we got? We got Starmie. Where's Starmie at? Um, here we go. Water, water psychic. Uh, we got the life orb, and for abilities, the most used ability is natural cure. All status problems heal when it switches out. Boosts uh, move power when the Pokemon moves last. Illuminate raises the likelihood of meeting a wild Pokemon. Yeah, we definitely don't need that while we're competing. So. Depending on if you're going to be a speed build. So yeah, right here. Right here, the top nature is a speed build. So this this analytic probably won't work. So we're just going to go natural cure. Uh, and for those that see it, all status problems heal when it switches out. So if it's burned or sleep, you know, you switch it out and it'll lose that uh, status effect. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so right here on the right, on a showdown, this is so I could just show you guys what we're doing over here. Uh, we got the life orb, we got our natural cure. Let's uh, let's go the EVs. So we got timid. We got a uh, speed and negative attack. Okay. Um, for the EVs, let's see what we got. One second. Sorry, guys. Just pulling up uh, these builds real quick. Um, speed and special attack, huh? So we got speed EVs, and then we got special attack EVs, and the remainder is going into s special defense. We got the timid uh, nature. Okay, now, f now for the moves. Okay. So for the moves, he got some pretty some pretty hard hitters. We got Hydro Pump, uh, Thunderbolt, awesome moves. I love these moves. Ice Beam or Psy Shock? I would just go Psy Shock because we don't have very many psychic abilities on this team right now. You know, for coverage, and then we have either Recover or Rapid Spin. So that's kind of up to you what you want to do. Me personally, probably the rapid spin.
because it gets rid of a uh, um it gets rid of all the debris on the field so like toxic spice leech seed uh stealth rock you know all that good stuff that a lot of competitive players like to use um and there we go that was pretty simple hydro pump thunderbolt side shock rapid spin there we go uh okay and uh last but not least we have tyranitar oh yeah so right here it says assault gear um let's see this We got the assault vest on here it says it's illegal but 99% use uh, sandstream okay we're using sandstream sandstream on switching this Pokemon summons a sandstorm okay um, and right here we got Tyranitar with a whopping 134 attack and we we can either run them as an attacker or as a defensive build. We have a lot of attackers on this team, so probably going to run them defensive. And this is my build for running him defensive. Okay, we have right here. Here we go. The Stealth Rock. You got to have Stealth Rock on the team. So maybe you could lead with this guy. Throw out the Stealth Rock. Okay, and then fight from there. Switch him out. We got Rock Blast. Where are we at? Where's Rock Blast? Rock Blast. Uh, and then we got Earthquake. Some heavy hitters. Thunder Wave or Toxic. Uh, I like Thunder Wave. Make really fast Pokemon slow. Kind of like a little miniature trick room. And for the EVs, we got full HP. Then we got full speed. No, I'm just kidding. Full spadef. And we got the regular, the rest of it, the rest of the four EVs on defense. There we go. This is defensive build for, uh, and then we got adamant. Plus attack, minus special attack. Change up, change it up a little bit. So right here, for me, it says it's illegal, but I'm pretty sure uh, Pokey MMO and uh, uh, Showdown are they're different. So pretty sure you could use Rock Blast. Um, yeah, but uh, there we go, and this is your guide to Pokemon MMO competitive team building. Um, yeah, guys, try it out. Uh, what's cool about this game, too, is, uh, you know, if you play enough and you uh, get enough money, you could literally just go buy these Pokemon on the market, which is awesome. You know, instead of spending hours training them, there's people on here that actually will sell these Pokemon. I don't have much money on this account, um, but uh, let's, let's just say, let's look for one of these Pokemon. Um, let's look for a scissor, okay? So... We're going to type in scissors name. I Z O R. Here we go. We got some scissors right here. Okay. Um, right here, it doesn't tell you the uh, the EVs, but uh, the nature, what, what nature are we looking for for this? For the nature, we are looking for an adamant. So let's go to advanced search, nature, and we're going to look up adamant. And um, so f with this search thing, with these IVs, so since uh, our scissor has max attack and then max, uh, he has max attack and then he has a, a good amount of speed, we'll just go for here, minimum attack, we'll just put 31 IVs. And then for the speed, you know, we don't want to get too greedy because these Pokemon will get expensive. So you guys kind of have to, uh, you know, 
pick and choose what you want. You know, if you want to be super greedy, I can go 31, right? Max, uh, 31 IVs. Uh, not defense. I don't need defense for the speed stat right here. Uh, go 31 and then I can hit search and it will find the one with the correct nature. And right here, these are max IVs. Okay. These are IVs. These are initial values. These are, uh, the values your Pokemon gets when it's born out of the egg. Okay, it's just inherently strong in these, uh, in these traits. So speed, attack, HP, so, uh, etc. Versus these EVs. Okay, they're both. The see these are the IVs right here on the right side. The IVs are thirty one. See how they're thirty one here, and then here is the thirty one. The IVs. These EVs are evolution values. These are what you get when you fight random Pokemon um, in the wild. So, for instance, in Scarlet and Violet, if I want to build my speed IVs, I have to go kill um, little Talon Flames or s Pokemon that'll give you speed EVs. Certain Pokemon give you different EVs, HP EVs, um, attack EVs. So, uh, let me see if they got these items on here. They got items that help you. Uh... So, say, for instance, every Pokemon you kill, you get two speed EVs, but if you get these, uh, power lenses or, uh, where are they at? Is this the power lens? Yeah. So right here, an item held by a Pokemon when breeding. Okay. Yeah. So that's not that one. Um, do they have them in here? They should. What about, uh, uh, yeah, here it is. I don't know why it didn't come up when I put it up. Yeah, maybe they have a different item for these games. But usually in the other games, like you make your Pokemon hold it. And um, so say you'll kill a Pokemon, you'll get two EVs. Uh, when you hold, when you have your Pokemon hold the power anklet, it'll get four EVs instead of two. So it'll speed up the process. And I mean, as you can see here, uh, 252 EVs. And every time you kill a Pokemon, you get two so that's kind of a lot of Pokemon you got to kill. So when you double that number, that kind of it halves it for you. So it's a little speeds it up a little bit in the process. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, this is for uh, Pokemon MMO and use this uh, use this marketplace you, if you want to build these teams, man. Um, again, we got these the overused. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and. I'll be back with new and exciting content. Alright, I'm out.